Projections. Consider a line L in R2. So a line in the plane and a point B. Now draw a line from B to L such that this line, line segment is perpendicular to the line L. So in the intersection we get a point P and this point P is called the projection, the orthogonal projection of B on L. Well, this is a ge geometric interpretation which can be done in the R2, but we want to extend the notion of orthogonal projection to arbitrary subspaces of the Rn. So we will generalize, generalize the approach to uh, general vectors. So again, look now look at a vector pointing at some point B in the space and similar, similar as before the line, the blue line L in some general space and the line L is parameterized by a vector A, a direction vector A and look at the line from B onto the line L, which is perpendicular to the line L. So we see that actually what we end up with is a multiple of a vector A here. So look at all multiples T times A. T times A and T is an element of R, which represents a line L in Rn. And it's not just a line in Rn, it's a typical line because uh, it goes through the origin. Yeah? To see this, just take t is 0 and 0 times the vector a equals the 0 vector. So our challenge now is uh, what combination of A, what multiple of A makes it that this yellow dotted line is perpendicular to this blue line. So what we want to do is find the scalar T such that P minus TA, yeah, it's a difference vector, P minus TA over here, yeah, B minus TA, which should be perpendicular or orthogonal to the vector A. Well, we solve this question by looking at the relation B, B minus TA perpendicular to A which is no more than saying that B minus TA, the dot product, with the vector A should be zero. Yeah, now work out the expression that we have here, so we get B dot product A minus TA dot product A equals zero. And now we can, of course, solve for t in this equation, in this expression. t equals b dot product a divided by a dot product a. It shows us actually a unique t with this property. So now we may define, using this uniqueness, we may define the projection of a vector b on a vector a. Well, it's not for all vectors a. We should clearly have that a is not the zero vector. Otherwise, this t we found is not defined. 
So the projection of a vector B on A is the vector that we indicate by proj projection A B equals, and now we plug in the T we found there is B dot product A divided by A dot product A as a scalar times vector A.